In the latest update, BN Blood Particles has undergone a significant overhaul of its particle spawning system. Now, particles not only spawn from hits but also from explosive damage and falling. This feature is supported by all modified and vanilla projectiles that deal damage. Furthermore, the number of particles generated is now influenced by the size of the creature and the amount of damage dealt. Additionally, the update includes the tracking of hitbox center, ensuring that particle generation aligns with the center of the creature model. This improvement enhances compatibility with modified creatures, providing a more immersive and realistic experience. This mod is an add-in for Wizard, the Water Wizard is a semi-supporting and healing wizard, but he can also deal good damage. Splash, heals you for 2-3, or splashes the target dealing 1-1.5 water spell damage. Water Whip, dealing 0.9 to 1.3 water spell damage and soaking the target. Bubble Beam, spawning small bubbles, dealing 0.8 to 1.2 water spell damage on targets and protecting friends. Spring Water, summoning water springs, healing and cleansing friends by 0.5 to 0.8, and dealing 1 to 1.5 water spell damage to targets. Hydro Beam, channeling a high hydro pressure beam, dealing 1 to 1.5 water damage every second and soaking targets. Stack Mob is a groundbreaking mod that introduces a unique solution to reduce lag while maintaining the integrity of mob farms. With Stack Mob, players can stack large quantities of mobs into a single entity, significantly reducing server lag. Unlike traditional mob stackers that often compromise gameplay for minimal performance gains, Stack Mob is designed with flexibility in mind. Server administrators can utilize Stack Mob to target and mitigate lag without detracting from the overall gameplay experience for all players. One of Stack Mob's key features is its flexible configuration options, which allow for fine tuning based on specific entity types. This level of customization ensures that the mod can be tailored to suit the needs of any server environment. Experience smoother gameplay and optimized performance with Stack Mob, the mod that revolutionizes how mobs are managed in Minecraft. This mod overhauls the Steve Dweller, presenting Simon 12's design of Herobrine's secret brother. Despite its overhaul nature, it offers a different model, unique sounds, animations, and even a separate configuration. Additionally, it can be used concurrently with the standard Steve Dweller. Once the Steve Dweller is aware of players, it will start to move and interact with its environment. Its behavior becomes more aggressive, and players must be cautious when encountering it. The Steve Dweller's unique design and mechanics provide a thrilling and immersive experience, adding a new level of suspense to cave exploration in Minecraft. Enemy Banner is a mod inspired by the Enemy Banner from the popular game Terraria. It introduces a unique gameplay mechanic where entities that reach a specified kill count, by default 50 kills, will acquire a corresponding enemy flag. The mod allows you to customize the kill count for specific entity types and the overall entity kills required for the flag, and you can also configure a blacklist of entities that you do not want to trigger the flag acquisition. Additionally, Enemy Banner offers a variety of silks replacement styles. Different pattern silks provide additional bonuses, such as reducing damage by 30% against player attacks and increasing damage by 50% for player attacks on entities with a flag within 16 squares. The mod includes 16 colors for the top of the banner and 8 different banner content bonuses, which can be combined as desired using the loom. With Enemy Banner, you can enhance your gameplay experience by customizing enemy flags and utilizing various banner bonuses to strategically approach combat situations in Minecraft. Vix Point Blank has added two new guns in the latest update, RO635 and Desert Eagle.
Sword Trims is a mod that enhances the customization of swords by allowing players to use armor trims on them. When applied, upgraded swords gain an additional two points of damage and feature unique textures, adding a new level of customization and visual appeal to your weaponry. Barbecue's Delight is an add-in for Farmer's Delight that introduces an array of new skewers, seasonings, and specialized blocks. Players can utilize the ingredients basin to prepare skewers by interacting with it, then holding a side dish and a stick in their respective hands, and interacting with the basin again to craft the skewer. Cooking these skewers on a grill is an interactive process, requiring players to place the skewer on the grill with a right-click, monitor the smoke until it thickens, and then sneak and right-click to flip the skewer for even cooking, and it's crucial to remove the skewer promptly after cooking to avoid burning the food. To enhance the flavor of the skewers, players can use the seasoning mechanic. By right-clicking on the cutting board with the skewer and then repeating the action with the desired seasoning, they can create skewers with a delightful burst of flavor. With these additions, players can immerse themselves in the art of barbecue, experimenting with different ingredients and seasonings to create delicious and satisfying meals in their Minecraft world. This mod provides compatibility for many other mods that use the official forge and fabric tags, resolving tag or recipe-related issues. Previously, Create Deco used its own tag system, restricting the use of items in Create Deco's tag for several recipes. This caused conflicts with mods like Create Crafts and Additions, where both mods added a zinc sheet and a recipe involving pressing. With this mod installed, players can craft items using zinc sheets from both mods, effectively resolving these compatibility issues. Opinky is a simple yet versatile Minecraft mod that introduces the creation of rose gold alloy for a variety of purposes. This unique alloy can be crafted into new equipment or used as a valuable commodity for bartering with piglins. Items crafted from rose gold possess distinctive properties, including a mining speed and enchantability slightly superior to netherite, though lower than gold. Furthermore, they offer durability and defense greater than that of iron. A particularly advantageous aspect of rose gold armor is its ability to pacify piglins. Wearing any piece of this armor set prevents piglins from attacking the player, allowing for safer interactions within the nether. This mod has recently introduced a new addition, the Mushroom Geyser. Found exclusively in the Mushroom Fields biome, this unique geyser applies the sludged effect to players. Upon contact, it deals 4 damage and then sets the player on fire for 5 seconds. Geysers is renowned for adding various types of geysers to the Minecraft landscape. Each geyser is accompanied by a chest filled with random, valuable loot, making it a rewarding experience to explore and discover these natural wonders. In the latest update, Dungeon Now Loading has added a new dungeon, Labyrinth. Prepare to embark on an epic journey through expansive and challenging dungeons that seamlessly integrate into your world. With this update, Dungeon Now Loading introduces a plethora of diverse dungeons, each with its own unique size and theme. Upon reaching the end of a dungeon and emerging victorious against its boss, you will not only claim valuable rewards but also gain ownership of the conquered dungeon itself. Slightly Better Scaffolding is a mod that revolutionizes the way scaffolding behaves in Minecraft. With this mod, scaffolding now falls perfectly vertically from where it was originally placed, eliminating the frustrating scattering that often occurs. This not only makes collecting scaffolding a breeze but also ensures that your construction sites remain tidy and organized. Horse Trumpet introduces a unique mechanic. Blowing into a goat horn reveals the nearest saddled horse's location. The horse responds by shouting and glowing briefly, making it easier to locate. If the horse is out of sight, its call can be heard from up to 1,000 blocks away. The mod offers a fun and immersive way to interact with your horses in Minecraft. With the goat horn, you can easily locate your saddled horses, adding a touch of realism to your adventures in the game. This mod features a single soul-binding enchantment with several custom configurations, offering a streamlined and focused experience, items enchanted with soulbound are automatically retained upon death. Additionally, the mod allows for the random reduction of durability upon death, with the degree of reduction depending on the configuration. This mod alters the vanilla you may not rest now, there are monsters nearby mechanic. 
With this mod, you can now sleep as long as any nearby monsters are unable to reach you. The mod offers the flexibility to completely disable this mechanic if desired. One of the standout features of the mod is its in-game configuration screen, which can be accessed through the mod menu. This allows players to easily customize the mod to suit their gameplay preferences. Find Best Horse Stats is a mod that allows players to search for the best horse within their simulation distance, ensuring that they find a horse with optimal stats. The mod supports not only horses but also donkeys, mules, and llamas, although the latter have fixed stats except for llama inventory space and less bread. Keybinds are provided for convenient use, pressing K initiates the search for the best horse, and pressing J allows players to switch between different search types, such as searching for the fastest horse, the horse with the highest jump height, or the healthiest horse. Additionally, the mod provides detailed statistics of the horse when right-clicked. This mod improves the gameplay experience by hiding the obstructive fire overlay when it's not necessary. Specifically, it hides the fire overlay when the player either has fire resistance or is in creative mode. Additionally, the mod offers three options for how the fire overlay is displayed. Flash makes the fire overlay flashes twice a second, transparent, a transparent fire overlay is displayed instead, and none, the overlay is always displayed without any warning. Also, if the player is still on fire and either the fire resistance effect is about to wear off or they're holding a bucket of milk, the fire overlay will reappear as a warning. Enchantment Requirements is a utility mod that provides players with additional information not typically presented in the game. It adds tooltips for various enchanting values, such as the current power of the enchantment table, the enchantability of items, the enchantment power of blocks, and the cost for individual enchanted books. When an enchantment table is open, cyan text will display to indicate this information. Additionally, it's important to note that the true cost of enchanting an item depends on the item itself. This mod prevents offhand items from having their NBT changed to an empty tag when tossing an item from your inventory. This prevents issues such as torches gaining an empty NBT tag, which would prevent them from stacking correctly. 